Okay, the next stage in the chop pattern, what I've done, again, high attachment point, slightly forward of me and off to the side, okay? So once I'm set up, so it's just in front, what I'll do is with the leg closest to the band, I will step back. And then with that leg, what I'm doing is I'm driving my heel into the floor. I'm squeezing my quad to lock out my knee and then I'm squeezing my glute on this side, okay? So I've got all of that side engaged, heel down, knee locked, glute squeezed. Then I'm gonna take my band and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down across. So my hands, I'm imagining, are landing left and right of my knee, okay? So heel, knee, glute, and then bending at the elbow, splitting over the knee, and then coming back under control. And the whole time, you know, I'm engaging my core and I'm trying to keep my torso from any form of rotation. So I'm keeping myself facing nice and forward. The whole idea is to resist the rotational force brought in by the band, okay? And I'll continue like so, and then obviously turn around and face the other way to the opposite side, okay? So heel, knee, glute, engage your claw, a core, claw, core, have the band forward and to the side, bending at the elbow, splitting the knee, coming back up, keeping everything nice and square, resisting this rotation which has been placed on the body.